How Many Snails, a counting book by Paul Giganti Jr., pictures by Donald Cruz. I'm so excited to read this book and get counting with you today, but before we do, let's learn some signs. The first thing we're going to sign today is the phrase, how many. When we sign the phrase, how many, we're going to start with closed hands down towards our chest, and then we're going to open them as we move them towards our face. Ready? How many? Now, the important thing about sign language is it's all about facial expressions. So since how many is a question, we're going to put a questioning look on our face. Let's try that sign again with a questioning look. Ready? How many? One more time. How many? Good job. And I love those questioning looks. The next word we're going to sign is the word walk. You can also use the sign for walked or walking. Whenever we sign the word walk, we're going to close the fingers in both hands, put them flat in front of us, and move them up and down like we're walking. Walk. Let's try it again. Walk. One more time. Walk. Good job. Let's review. Our first phrase was the phrase, how many? So let's sign it. How many? Good. And our next word is the word walk. Let's sign walk. Perfect signing. How many snails? A counting book by Paul Giganti Jr. Illustrated by Donald Cruz. Oh, I love this page. All the question marks remind me to always keep wondering. For all the people who count, that's you. I went walking and I wondered, how many clouds were there? How many clouds were big and fluffy? How many clouds were big and fluffy and gray? I went walking to the meadow and I wondered how many flowers were there? How many flowers were yellow? How many flowers were yellow with black centers? I went walking to the lake and I wondered how many fish were there? Oh, sorry, I forgot my sign there. How many fish were there? It's a lot of fish. How many fish were red? Hmm. How many fish were red and had their mouths open? I went walking to the garden and I wondered how many snails were there? How many snails had striped shells? How many snails with striped shells had their heads out? I went walking to the beach and I wondered how many starfish were there? How many starfish had five arms? Oh, five arms. I only have two. How many starfish had five arms and were on rocks? Hmm. I went walking to the park and I wondered how many 
dogs were there. It's a lot of dogs. How many dogs were spotted? Hmm. Not as many dogs. Some. How many dogs were spotted and had their tongues out? <laughs> they look thirsty. I went walking to the library and I wondered how many books were there? So many books. How many books were tiny? How many books were tiny and had numbers on them? I went walking to the bakery, yum, and I wondered, how many cupcakes were there? How many cupcakes had white icing? Hmm. How many cupcakes had white icing and candy sprinkles? Hmm. I don't know, but if you figure out how many, can you save me one? You will? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're so sweet just like the cupcakes. I went walking to the toy store and I wondered, how many trucks were there? How many trucks were fire trucks? How many trucks were fire trucks with a ladder? I went walking at night and I wondered how many stars were there. Wow, look at the beautiful stars. How many stars were bright? How many stars were bright and shooting stars? Oh, look, there's one over there. I went walking to my bedroom, but I didn't wonder how many goodnight kisses I would get because I knew. Oh, and look, there are all the question marks again. Remember, always keep wondering. This book, How Many Snails, a counting book, is so awesome because it reminds us to keep wondering. So when you're in your house, maybe putting away your toys, wonder, how many toy trucks do I have? And then count to see how many you have. When maybe you're on a walk around the neighborhood, wonder, how many steps does it take me to get from my front door to the sidewalk? And then count. So whether you're inside your house playing with your toys or outside your house on a nature walk, remember, always keep wondering. If you want to see these illustrations again to keep counting, or if you want to try some of the cool projects I have planned based on this book, you can visit my Instagram at Mrs. Brunk's Read Alouds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.